Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is me reading for um, Aries, you versus them for April 13th and 14th. April 14th and 15th. I was like, what is today's date? Yeah, April 14th and 15th, 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also feel free to, also feel free to suffer on the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And um, at the end of this week, we have the uh, Libra full moon, which is going to be doing a lot of karmic clearing. We just had that, you know, mini awakening with that Neptune conjunct Jupiter in 20 degrees Pisces. Uh, we still have like the after shadow effect of, you know, that Mars uh, conjunction as well. So let's see. Aries, you versus them. Mar April 14th and 15th, 2022. So I feel like um, you could be in a relationship, getting in one, or it's like you're developing a lot of self-love, King of Cups. See, I feel like someone loves you and they really want to be with you, Nine of Wands. But there's like some sort of wall up, doubt, hesitation. Like maybe they feel like, oh, they're not going to want me. Three of Wands, the Falling Tower. But I feel like you could have waited for this and now it's like there's massive changes happening, especially with that um that conjunction that neptune conjunction with jupiter jupiter wants to give us a lot of blessings everything that we deserve so that's why you, I'm, i won't be surprised if i see a lot of towers in like all the readings and you can be tired of waiting and now you're like you know what i'm over it i'm just gonna be working on myself um tired of but that could be stressing you out at the same time so there's a lot of emotions coming up for you that you're working on Keep in mind, also in this energy, we're going to be having a lot of self-worth issues. So it's best to um, be standing in your confidence. See, three of clubs, I mean, three of coins and the high priestess. I feel like this person wants to work with you. Um, but you could be upset because this person always tends to keep you a secret. You know, there's some sort of secret here. You know, like, you keep them a secret, they keep you a secret. But I feel like there's a lot of mystery here and a lot of... Um, A lot of like secrecy it's like your intuition could be telling you this person wants a relationship with you but right now I feel like your heart's closed off or their heart is closed off and that's going to be changing uh, you could be kind of expecting things to go a certain way and that's what you're waiting for and I feel like you're just kind of letting go of all the expectations right now uh, you know you're just releasing all of that meanwhile your person here you could be dealing with a cancer five of swords five of coins if you cut them off and you're like, you know what, I'm over this, you know, like, screw all this, I'm just going to be by myself, you know, this that's making this person feel very insecure, like you're done with them, because I feel like, you know, they, they've let go of attachments, or you could have feel like they let you go, what is that, thank you, what is that full card, thank you. Um, we have Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands. So even if this person left, it's like they want a new beginning. Are they going to be reaching out to Aries though? I feel like they're very much focused on having something with you and nothing else with that Two of Swords. Uh, you could also be too. It's like, again, you want things to happen a certain way. And the Star card, King of Wands. I feel like that's stuff you have to work on. This person could be leaving you out in the dark, but I feel like it's because they're healing a lot of stuff. And, you know, it's like, I feel like they're working on coming from the heart with that page of cups and the page of coins. And this person, you know, again, I feel like they are going to be reaching out to you April 13th, uh, 14th and 15th, seven of cups. Uh, they just don't really know how or what to say, but... I, they do look at your pictures, okay? Um, it's landed on this other deck here I'm going to use. They look at your pictures. I feel like you know they do. I mean, maybe it's like, you know, like on some sort of social media and you could tell, like, you know, they watched your story or something like that. The Hanged Man, Three of Wands. You're having an internal battle waiting, but I feel like it's because, again, Jupiter's preparing us for all our blessings right now. Uh, what is Aries going to be getting? Thank you the lovers you're going to be getting a strong soul connection you're also also going to be getting more balanced within yourself um and that's what you're being guided to do 444 when i said that uh on the timer you see ten of cups it's your emotional fulfillment but the truth is you know we can't constantly look to other people to make us happy 
That's why right now I said, you know, we're going to be having self-worth issues and we have to stand in our confidence. We have the power, you know. So what is this? See this person here, four of swords, ten of coins. I feel like um, they're working on things that they still have to walk away from. Could be dark energies that are preventing them from coming from the heart. You know, preventing them from being more childlike and fun. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, seven of cups, ten of coins. I feel like this person wants like the end all be all with you. They just don't know how to make it happen. Four of coins upside down. You guys both could be needing to save money right now. That way you guys could have a stable future. See, four of clubs. Some of you guys know you guys are going to live together, get a house together, uh, move in together. And some of you guys know that this is your twin flame. And again, I feel like you guys look at each other's pictures. And you guys know this. Could be a marriage. Like, you know you guys are going to end up married. Or it's like uh, you guys are talking truth in a marriage now. Six of Swords. And that's going to be smoothing a lot of things out. Seven of Clubs. I feel like both of you guys are learning boundaries due to previous lessons. You may also be dealing with a Taurus. What is the um, Chariot? Four of Cups. I feel like they have a lot of regret here. They're, they're trying to cut out stagnancy. Um, you know, from holding back. That's what they're trying to work on right now. I feel like you guys could both be ending a lot of options. Five of Wands, the Death card. It's like, I feel like you guys have a lot of people fighting for your attention. With that Four of Coins kind of upside down that you guys don't really hold back from. And I feel like you guys need to cut that off if you're wanting a specific person. You know, of course, if you're single, then hey, the more the merrier, up to you. Temperance card. Um, you guys need to be patient with each other. Like, patient for this. The Queen of Wands on top of the Five of Swords. You know, they feel like you're very attractive. And you cut them off and you're done with them. You're tired of the BS. They want another chance. Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups, and the Judgment. Ten of Wands. But they could feel like, you know, they're, they feel like you're making it complicated by judging them. Or it's like they feel like you're still deciding about them. Any other messages for Aries? You versus them before I move on to the other deck. The musician, I feel like you guys are both learning how to be independent, claim your power back. You may be dealing with the Leo, the star card, the emperor, and the sun. Right now is just a time for you to work on being the best version of yourself and mastering all your lessons, the death and three of cups. You guys are going to be coming together. There's major changes here. Also in friendship dynamics, you know, um, things could be changing. Friends, like I said, we have that karmic clearing, ten of swords. So that's ten, ten, and ten. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Ten of Swords. One, one, and one. I feel like you guys are starting at step one all over again. It's like you guys are having new beginnings in you all's lives. Um, Six of Swords. Again, things are going to be smoothing out. Any other messages for Aries? Eight of Wands. And you guys are going to be talking. If you guys are not already, you guys are going to be. Because with the Six of Cups, Ten of Clubs here, the full card, this person's jumping into this because they miss you and they really want to put the work in. Um, and again, it could also be because they feel like this is complicated. Your person may be getting a new car, traveling, going on vacation, having to go overseas, come from overseas to you. Um, but I feel like they might even be the ones moving to put the work in to come towards you. You may also be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, a Cancer, any sign for that matter. You see, I miss us. They miss the, the connection. They miss everything how it used to be. I was blind, now I see. They're realizing a lot here. Aquarius, you versus them, April 14th and 15th. And there's a lot of sexual attraction here that I feel like is getting worked on, you know. And that is the truth. That's all that karmic energy clearing. We're all going through a Kindalinian clearing. Like, see, they could have a lot of regret. Maybe they, you know, were lusting after a lot of people, talking to a lot of people, right? Um, and... You're just like, and they want you. You could be thinking it's just sex or if they're still sexually attracted to you or something like that. And I feel like they are. Again, text, DM, email. They're going to be reaching out soon. I feel like they, you're going, you're, well, they are. They're going to be reaching out and you're going to end up talking to them. Aries. You see, I don't want them. I want you. They don't want any other options. They only want you. Secrets and lies. But again, I feel like there's lots of secrets here. Uh, this whole thing could be a secret. And it's like you could be feeling like they need to own up to a lot of stuff. 
and that they do not. And I feel like that might be where the problem stems from. Aries. You versus them, April 14th and 15th, 2022. So, both of you guys could be talking to other people. Again, I feel like you guys are putting an end to options. You guys have a lot of people fighting for your attention. Dreaming and fantasizing about you, but they still want you. Um, again, I feel like they're just, both of you guys have issues opening up and communicating not the star card and true love you could i feel like you just don't have hope in this anymore like you're just done with it with that tower but there's real love here um see it's like you could be dealing with a twin flame that tends to lie to you or it's like they try to um act stable but you know they're not it's like this person wants to live with you wants a house with you wants to get you a house but they act fake for some reason like they don't care But um, you could be feeling like they're lying to you. Like they're just telling you what you want to hear. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. And then obsessed. But I feel like both of you guys are equally obsessed with each other. You guys live rent free in each other's heads. Cheating affairs, twin flame. But both of you guys could have cheated on each other, talked to other people. You know, and that's in other, like, not just like physical. It could be like, um, like, um, uh, what's it called? just talking to a lot of people it may also be like emotional bonds you mean a lot to me would you take me back but again i feel like there is true love here they still want this aries april 14th and 15th but i feel like this person could be feeling like you don't like to work you want to live off them um that you're being selfish and hard-headed but i also feel like you're being very picky on how this um this plays out but i feel like you know this person could be lazy, doesn't like to work. It's in the center. So it's like, or both of you guys tend to cheat on each other, talk to other people, to people who don't like to work, people that, you know, don't really have, aren't stable. Um, you could be feeling like you have no hope in this connection no more because this person is selfish, they're hard-headed, ten of wands, ten of swords, like they make it complicated. So you could be giving them the silent treatment. But at the same time, you guys post for each other on social media. Again, I feel like you guys look at each other's pictures. I do love you. See, I'm not lying. I do love you. See, for some reason, I feel like you think they're lying on top of the three of cups here. But they do love you. Uh, but you could be moving on. And that, you know, they're having a hard time right now being loyal and honest to you. Like telling you how, you, how they feel. Reset button redo. See, they, they want to, with that full card, they just want to jump into this. But at the same time, I feel like there's still other people that you guys are communicating to. I feel like you guys are slowly ending that. Uh, you may also be dealing with a Scorpio. See the star card. So you you don't have faith in this person because... Uh, yes, you have faith, but at the same time, you don't. You know, you, because you could be feeling like they'll never change. True love, I wish I never cheated on you. And they wish they never cheated on you or vice versa. You know, they left you and you spoke to other people. And um, they're wondering if you still love them. You know, I just feel like right now is just a time where they're pretending not to care. Poker face. But they want to work on this together. Aries, what does your person feel? Thank you so much. I was like, tell me more about your person. See, F girl, F boy. They tend to make things complicated because of how they are or the way you are. And there's trust issues here. That could be why they tend to put a wall up. They think you're just trying to play with them. Workaholic on top of the Ten of Swords and Six of Swords. If they were um, focusing a lot on their money, I feel like that is ending. You know, they don't, you know, they don't want just money. Like, they also want you here. Can I get one more card for Aries person? Excuse me, I just need. I want to move forward. You know, they want to move forward. But they're afraid that you'll reject them. And they're sorry for that. And I feel like they're sorry for a lot of stuff. What's the four of swords? What are they working on? Thank you so much. Well, this is kind of a lot of cards. But I'll still read them. They want to leave them for you. They only want you as an option. 
Um, they could be inconsistent, unreliable. You could be feeling like it's always a third party situation. Yeah, and there's people in the way. I feel like both of you guys have options, but you guys still fantasize about each other. I feel like everything is one step forward, two steps back. They still look at your pictures, and they're trying to wait for this. Um, here on top of the Four of Swords, we have loyal and honest. They're working on being more loyal. They're working on being more honest with you. Uh, but I feel like, again, see, I know you're watching me. I post for you. You could be feeling like this person will never change. That, but I feel like that both of you guys are being immature, that this is actually a very intense connection. There could be co-parenting issues, um, or you guys are going to end up baby mama, baby daddy. You know, um, baby mama, daddy, baby mama drama. You know, it's like you guys are going to end up having kids together. Be mine again if you guys come back together. Some of you guys, um, maybe do, like that stuff could be a blockage. What's the ten of wands and the chariot? And then I'm ending this reading. See, 10 of wands, they want this for life. That's why they're wanting to put the work in. Uh, but again, you could be feeling like um, here with full of excuses that this person, what's would you take me back? You mean a lot to me. So there's a lot of like excuses that they have right now. Like, oh, um, they told me this, they told me that. They did this, they did that. Uh, like, they won't take me back. You know, I did this, I did that. And... They were being reckless. Uh, you may also be kind of being reckless right now in the sense where you're like, nah, I don't want you, and you're telling them that. But it's like they live rent free in your head. This is real love. And they feel like you're full of excuses as to why you don't want them or why you won't take them seriously. And, you know, they, they don't plan on stopping talking to you. You know, they're going to keep trying. Um, they could be either thinking you're just jealous right now or that they get jealous. But in honesty, I don't see, like, is anyone having sex with other people? Being intimate with other people? Excuse me. Delusional and denial. See, I feel like you guys are just... Are in denial about this connection here. Spend time together. No, I don't feel like they're having... Um, you know, sleeping with anyone. Uh, I feel like if you were being... You know, whoever was having... Uh, you know, a phase. Um, they're all, Like, they still forgive you. Or you forgive them. And they just want to spend time together. You'd be thinking they're like that, but it's. I feel like they don't really want to be intimate, intimate. They want to have, you know, they want this for life. Right here, they want this for life right there. You know, they want to spend time with you. You mean a lot to them. They love you no matter what. They'll be back. Would you take me back? So I feel like they're never really going to let this go. But all right, guys, I'm going to go to close it out here. If this resonates with you, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.